completely. Good evening. This is a uh, respect the vote, and we're here today to talk to Patricia McCann, just to hear, to hear some of her views on the Lisbon Treaty. Well, it's first, uh, the most important thing I think to remember is that voting no to the Lisbon Treaty is not voting no to Europe. If we vote no to the Lisbon Treaty, we're not going to be thrown out of Europe. We're not going to be isolated. There is no provision or mechanism there where we can, that can happen. And I think you need to be careful about the posters that say, we're stronger in Europe or we need Europe. Because even if we vote no, we're still in Europe and we'll still be part of Europe and we'll still be equal members of the European Union. But in fact, if we vote yes to Lisbon, we won't be equal members. Because what happens then is that our voting strength in the council, which makes all the decisions, will be reduced to under 1%. Our voting strength goes down by over 50%, while Germany's and the big countries, Germany's goes up over 100%. So there will be a complete imbalance in there. So we are better to keep with the current voting system. But I think it's also important to point out that Lisbon will further the kind of economic policies that have proven to have failed, not just here in Ireland, but internationally. So why endorse a treaty that is built and based on failed economic policies? We need to move forward. We need to look at a new approach to our economy. Lisbon also further militarizes the European Union. There is a mutual defense clause, a mutual solidarity clause, and these will, un will actually ask member states to go to the assistance of other countries, even in what's called the perceived possibility of a terrorist attack from another country, which means that it allows for preemptive strikes. And I think that is very, very important to remember that Ireland is supposed to be a neutral country. We're not supposed to be part of any military alliance. The European Defence Agency is also incorporated into the treaty. Now, this defence agency was set up at the behest of the European arms industries. And now this agency, which is basically uh, uh, an agency of the European arms industry, is being allowed to decide member states' military capabilities. It will assess our military capabilities. It will recommend the European Council what should be done, also in relation to research and development into new weapons and new armaments. Is this what we want? A European agency that's basically a front for the arms industry, deciding how European taxpayers' money is going to be spent. And on the military issue, there is no requirement for a UN mandate anywhere within the Lisbon Treaty, even though the Lisbon Treaty furthers the military agenda. And I think one of the biggest problems with the Lisbon Treaty is that it enshrines or it copper fastens European EU court judgments which put the rights of business above the rights of workers and allow big business and companies to employ people at the lowest left wage and undercut the type of standards and wages that we have fought hard for in this country. And that means, considering the economic crisis, that people are going to be in a worse situation going forward. The, e the European Court of Justice rulings have had a serious impact pay for workers. And that would be copper fastened in the judgment. We need to think long and hard about the European Union and the direction it's going in. And the only way we can do that is by rejecting this treaty. We have already rejected in Ireland once we're being asked.